Hey everybody, Abdullah Shamari here. Today we're going to be discussing Altrix Inc. or ticker symbol AYX. Let's do it. Make sure to subscribe to my page, crush the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and check out my Patreon link below. You'll get insights into my watch list, my portfolio, my daily readings, as well as instant posts as I buy and sell stocks each and every day. Today we'll be discussing Altrix Inc, which is a data process slash data science slash RPA automation tool that various companies use in order to create efficiencies in their processes. The tool allows you to be able to create process flows for various different data sets in order to be able to automate those processes so that you don't have to do repetitive tasks, clearing out data, fixing data, putting data in a certain format. The RPA tool will be able to create a process flow where you insert the data set, whether it's in Excel or any other tool, and then be able to then manipulate the data to be able to get it to where you need it to be each and every time. This is a great tool that all types of departments are able to use and so we'll go over the overall company. We'll be going over a few things about the company. First, to give an overall overview of the company, we'll be going over some of their solutions, go over their management, and then finally we'll go over what the prospects of their valuation are and also their financials. So first and foremost about what the company offers, here we can take a look at their website as far as various solutions that they have. It's heavy on the analytics side. You can see here advanced analytics, BI solutions, data discovery management, data preparation, some finance related items. They create solutions for all types of departments, not specifically just a data science or data analytics department, but supply chain operations, marketing, sales, customer analytics, etc. Data is everywhere. And so they're trying to create solutions for various different departments to be able to become more efficient and be able to optimize their processes. As far as their management team, I like to go over usually the executive director. And here we can see Mark Anderson's executive director. He was a former CEO of Palo Alto Networks, president and CEO of Palo Alto Networks. And so he helped to grow that company to be one of the largest security companies in the world. As a result, we know that he has the experience to be able to take a company from IPO and then be able to continue to grow the company onwards. The case of Altrix, they just recently IPO'd about a couple of years ago. So this is another opportunity for him to be able to take on this company and to be able to continue to grow it and to be able to make it one of the top analytics companies out there with the growing need for data science and data analytics. We can see the company is currently trading at about $87 a share as of market open on Thursday. The company has traded upwards of to $175 per share. Obviously the market in general has been down and Altrix is no different. It's been down since its highs in the mid uh, summer of 2020. So as a result, the company does have potential. One of the companies that I like to compare Altrix to is Tableau. And we all know Tableau was purchased by Salesforce and they were purchased for over $15 billion. We can see the company's market cap currently is $5 billion. And I can guarantee you that Altrix has much more advanced capabilities than Tableau. I definitely think this company is more valuable than Tableau was to Salesforce and whichever company is able to ultimately acquire this and add it to their suite of services will be able to increasingly benefit enterprise customers with with their solutions. Next, we'll be going through the financials of the company to understand how the company has done over the years. We can see here first from the income statement that the company the past two years in 2018 and 2019, they were actually profitable and had net income of $28 million and $27 million. However, in 2020 with COVID and everything that happened, their sales were pretty stagnant. They went from 417 million to 495 million. We can see in past years, they had upwards of 50 to 60 percent increase in their sales. As we can see from 2018, they went from 253 million to 417 million. So the increase from 19 to 2020 was lesser to an extent. The company, however, continues to gain customers, enterprise customers and various different companies that are using their tools and will continue to do so. 2020 might have been a slight down year in their growth. However, the 
company overall will continue to grow tremendously and is a huge target for any enterprise company such as Microsoft, Google, etc., who are looking to purchase something that could be an additional service to their various customers. From a balance sheet perspective, we can see the company is pretty healthy. Their assets are greater than liabilities. When we look at their current assets, we can see they have about $756 million worth of cash. And then later we'll go into the cash burn to see how long that $756 million will potentially last them. When we look at their debt, how much debt they have, they have about $700 million in debt, which is a little high. However, they're valued at $5 billion. So when you look at the debt compared to their overall value, it's pretty small, less than 20%. From a cash flow perspective, we can see that the company actually generates cash year over year. We can see every year from 2017 to 2020, they've generated positive cash flow. So as a result, that cash stockpile that they have will only increase year over year. It won't be decreasing because they don't need to use cash for their operations. However, they can use that cash to create opportunities for valuable acquisitions or to be able to grow their business in other ways or invest that cash in R&D efforts to be able to boast bolster their services even further. Overall, I think that this company is a great potential growth stock that you can put in your portfolio. It's not something that's going to be a day trade where you're going to gain a lot of money in a short period of time. It's a long-term investment, something that you can hold for a year or to two years where the stock could at least double, potentially even further grow, depending on if it gets acquired, how fast they're able to grow their business, and if they're able to get back to their growth trajectory that they had prior to 2020. As a result, I think this stock is definitely one that you want to consider for your portfolio. Do your due diligence on it as well. As always, make money, enjoy life, peace.